that point on. I think so. I think it's his job at half-time just to give the players some belief, if they don't already have it, that they can get something from here. Yes, it's going to be difficult. Yes, they might be a little bit more vulnerable at the back if they do throw people forward. Michael Odibe, the 21-year-old Nigerian, making just his second appearance in Serie A. His debut came last week against Palmer. I suppose he'll have to drop into the back four, I would think. Odibe is a, a defensive central midfield player that I think can play at the back as well, so... I don't think he's going to fit into that back four alongside Kribari. First half stoppage time. Macaroni yep. might in the free kick towards Odibe. It's his first touch in the opposing penalty area. Signed uh, on loan from Belgian football. He's playing the Belgian third division, would you believe, last season, hitting his third goal of the campaign. that mean to Juventus now look to be so comfortable early on turned into anything but but Trezeguet that was uh, delightfully soft touch wasn't it from the Frenchman well, this is beautiful link up play when you think about these two players you think about how well they know each other that touch there is fantastic it's a little double one two as well and not far was it from Trezeguet, that though is awareness, he knows that Trezeguet is behind him, Trezeguet expects the ball, immediate first time. Come back to the 22nd of November, in fact, for their last uh, Serie A clean sheet, the win against Udinese. Now Trezeguet, well, it's as though he's taken it upon himself to try and uh, halt the slide here for Juventus. Already a lot more involved, isn't it? This is a very difficult one to take coming over your opposite shoulder to where you want to strike the ball from. Good concentration from him, but spins out. Now, our camera and AC. Good service. Oh, it should have been 4 2. Del Piero might have had his hat trick, but Corchi denying it. the penalty area against Felipe Melo he's a big guy you know Felipe Melo I know he's had a frustrating season at the Juventus to come isn't it on the way through yep there's a corner kick for them it was it must be said heading well wide from Gazelle but Reginaldo who uh, seek out Odibe on his head as well, the young Nigerian couldn't keep it down. A warning sign again to Juventus, as if they needed any more. Ferrari's free kick. Hit by Trezeguet, it's flicked on. And they're offside after Odibe's touch in the penalty area. just flicked forward there certainly playing in an offside position no. there's Cameron AC got a yellow card what I talked about earlier on with could one of these players, the talented players in Juventus, just do something special in the remaining minutes of this game. Oh, Diego scored in the early stages last weekend against Fiorentina. Can he do something late on this week? Good service. Cameron AC off balance. And header over the top as a result. It's Michael uh, Odibe, the young substitute, who's down and claiming he was uh, caught by an elbow, perhaps. There he 
is. That's a bad elbow from Felipe Melo. Bad ball around to keep possession of it. The other side of that coin is this will be a point that will be really celebrated in Tuscany. Further evidence of uh, Siena's recuperation. They well feel they have to what it takes to yet escape relegation.